Police and narcotics officers make a major meth bust in Delaware County. Safe to say this was the warmest day of the year so yes, far? Yes, definitely was. What was yeah. our high? 86 degrees. Still climbing a little bit or is that, it's not it anymore? It could settle it to 86, yeah, 87. We'll go with 86. That's hot enough. We right? will have that official number for you within the next hour. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, thanks. <laughs> You're Greg. welcome. And first on eight, breaking news in the search for possible child molestation victims. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. That story is unfolding tonight in Coweta. Police say alert parents contacted them about a man who was sending harassment text messages to their daughter. Law enforcement officials are also investigating allegations of sexual impropriety between a teacher and a student. It's happened at Kellyville High School where a teacher has resigned. Channel 8's Bert Mumolo has a story you'll see only on 8. Bert, thanks. New at 6 tonight, Wagner County deputies arrest a man for child neglect. Deputies were called to a house near Snug Harbor on a report of domestic disturbance. It has been a very busy day for police using up valuable man hours to investigate bomb threats at local high High schools. Officers were called to Booker T. Washington in Tulsa, Charles Page High School in Sand Springs, and Colcourt High School in Delaware County. Charles Ely joined us now in the News Center with details on each one. Chuck? University of Tulsa names Frank Haith as their new men's basketball coach. John Laws joined us now with more on his new contract. And it was a search that took about two weeks. Meanwhile, Golden Hurricane students are talking about their new coach on campus. Channel H's Kim Jackson continues our team coverage tonight live from the university with their reactions. Kim. Investigators in Delaware County have been searching a mobile home park there for what they believe may be human remains, but so far they found nothing there as the search continues for a missing man. Channel 8's Ethan Calloway is in Twin Oaks tonight along Highway 412 with the latest. And Delaware County authorities say the search will continue for Dustin Carver. Two women are taken to a hospital after an apartment fire this morning. It happened at a complex near 71st in Yale. Both women received burns to their hands and feet. Governor Fallon has ordered all American and Oklahoma flags on state property to be flown at half staff until Monday morning. It's in memory of those killed and injured in the bombing of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building 19 years ago. A memorial service will be held at the National Memorial tomorrow morning. It begins at 8.55. Still ahead, details on Easter egg hunts and other holiday celebrations around the community this coming weekend. Plus, students and parents protest the firing of four coaches at the Locust Grove High School. The statewide unemployment rate has fallen to a five-year low. It fell to 4.9% in March. That's the first time it's been below 5% since 2008, well below the national average of 6.7%. Only an aid of protest over the firing of four coaches earlier this week. Some Locust Grove parents and students are still sounding off on losing their coaches. Channel 8's Caitlin Alexander shows us dozens of students missed class today to get their message across. As of this morning, the superintendent tells us he has personally met with three of the four coaches. At least one parent tells us she's applied to speak at an upcoming board meeting. Well, students at Eugene Field Elementary went shopping for Easter today. The school set up a store full of Easter merchandise and other toys and clothes. Students have been collecting reward dollars for their attendance and good behavior, and today they got to spend them and they can learn about gift gift. There are a number of Easter egg hunts scheduled across the community tomorrow. We've compiled a list of times and locations. Just go to our website, k2l.com. That Drillers game tomorrow mm -hmm. and Easter Sunday, and it looks fantastic. And the rain will come later on Sunday. I really think it's going to hold off until late in the day. So it won't yes. be a washout. No, it's not. Good. Not Good at all. To hear. All, all right, right, thanks, Jennifer. New basketball coach at TU holds his first news conference today where he talks about his previous suspension by the NCAA. Details next. It'll be a lot of fun. So this is the first of many rounds in the NBA playoffs, right? That's right. It goes for like four months, five months. Uh, like. NBA Finals, I believe. It wraps up uh, first in week June. of June. In right. June. So yeah, we'll, we'll be at this for a while, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, right. You're right. Thanks, John. All right. Nice evening. Oh, everyone. beautiful evening. Drillers game tonight. Tomorrow night, Grand Slam Saturday. Nice weekend ahead. Thanks. That's our news tonight. Wheel of Fortune up next. We'll see you back here tonight at 10. Good night.